Hello and thank you for tuning in to the Shark Tank, Busan Foreign School student-produced news program. I am Diana Liu. And I'm Subin Bay. The 2014 prom with the theme of Starry Night was on Friday the 23rd at the Latin Lounge near Kwangan. Senorita Galboy and Senorita Goldman worked incredibly hard and everyone had fun. The prom king and queen were Chunyuk Kong and Tara Wen. Thanks to all the high schoolers for coming. This year, our school decided to split up the talent show into two separate events. We had a traditional talent show with individual performers in April, but then the bands, orchestras and other classes had a spotlight in May for the first ever Fine Arts Showcase. Let's see what BFS staff and students think about the separation and the turnout of the shows. In the past, BFS combined the talent and orchestra performances all into one night at Shinsege. This year, BFS decided to separate the talent and artistic showcases into the talent show and the fine arts show. Let's see how the BFS faculty feels about separating the event into two different shows and let's also see how the students felt about displaying their artwork and performing. On Friday, May 9, 2014, we had our first ever art showcase. I wanted to uh, showcase every one of uh, my students' hard work for the year. I, after the showcase, I felt uh, it was great to celebrate uh, for celebration for kids work, students' work. It was great to show my artworks to friends and parents. Great to split up the event into two amazing events. It was cool to show our film to the entire school and I had a lot of fun watching everyone's reaction. It was a challenge to put together the Fine Art Showcase. Uh, I don't think it was hard, but the challenges were that we had so many things that we wanted to do and uh, so many different programs. Fitting them all in was the hard part and coordinating with all of the different teachers also was difficult. Between MMJ, um, poetry, two musical ensembles, uh, there was a lot of things to fit into that time period, but I think we did a good job all together. It's the first time we've, able, we've been able to have an event like that at BFS. Uh, it's a great combination of bringing a lot of different creative pieces together. Student artwork, student poetry, student produced video, and of course student produced music. So I look forward to seeing this become part of Busan Foreign School's tradition, uh, traditions for the next forever. So. The talent show and fine arts show were both great successes and students, teachers, and parents look forward to the shows next year as well. The track and field club worked really hard this year and got a ton of awards. Mr. Wojcik tells us what the club is about and the students describe the track meet. Uh, track and field is about 10 different running events and four field events. Running events could be sprints like 70 meter hurdles, 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, 400 meter dash, and some distance races like the 800 meters and 1500, and also some relays, 4 by 100, where four people run and pass a baton, and they run a total of 400 meters. Uh, field events include shot put, where they hold a steel ball by their chin and they throw it as far as they can. Discus, when they hold like a little flying saucer in their hand and they turn and throw it. Softball throw, just throwing a softball as far as you can. And the last one is running long jump. Because it was the first uh, track and field meet, I think it was a little crazy at first, but as the day went on, everyone had fun in the end and tried their best. I want to do better next time is practice more and get going and get, run faster next time. So in step four, what I think BFS could improve on is I think we should have tryouts 
then we could see which athlete is more um, dominant in which events, so we don't have to mix them around. I think that would maybe work out more next year. Uh, I think our team can improve on uh, having more practices before the actual track event so we can practice more and improve. I know that we could have done way better, but I think we could save out for next year as we know what to experience now. I personally think I did good, but I think I could improve more. I think I could have won more races and I think I could have got more ribbons for BFS. wish our school would win next year and we'll get a lot of ribbons. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after a short public service announcement by ki Lee, Philip Park and Lois Kim on the dangers of cyberbullying. International correspondent Alexa M put together some challenging trivia questions. She went around the school to quiz students and teachers. Let's see how well they performed on her quiz. Hello, this is your international correspondent Alexa M. Today I am going to ask people some random questions and we will see if they know the answer or not. What is the capital of Uzbekistan? I do not know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Tashkent. Tashkent. Oh, oh, Uzbekistan. <laughs> what is the big Russian island where most of our Russian students come from? Moscow? <laughs> uh, some, I'm so sorry, my students. Um, Sakhalin or something. Uh, Sakhalin Island. Cream bundle? <laughs> Cream bundle? <laughs> I don't know, wait. What are the four colors of the Korean flag? White, red, blue, black. White, black, red, and blue. White, red, black, and blue. Uh, black, white, red, and blue. What is the capital of Nepal? This is not a fun game. Um, uh, uh, something must capital. <laughs> Nepal. <laughs> Leon? No. <laughs> Nepal, Nepal. What is the largest empire in Asia? The Genghis Khan made one. Um, Mongol, Mongol. Mongol Empire. China. Which McDonald's makes the most money in the world? Chinese. How, are, how am I supposed to know that? Moscow! The McDonald's in... China. What is the name of our school's principal? I have no idea. Diane Lund, maybe? <laughs> maybe? Miss Lund. Mrs. Lund. Mrs. Lund. Um, Mrs. Lund. Diane Lund. Or, okay. Yeah. Mrs. Lund. All right. <laughs> what is our school's mascot? Sharks. 
Sharks. Shark. It is the shark, el tiburón. What is the famous temple in Cambodia? Um, Cambodia. Oh, I don't know. Anchor what? Cambodia. Um. Anchor what? What is the capital of Tashkent? What? Something must cut the Kit Muscat. In good way? <laughs> <laughs> the 2013 2014 school year has been so incredible for mass media and journalism, also known as MMJ. There is a new MMJ YouTube channel, BFS TV, and our students produce more quality work than ever before. Sally put together a highlight reel showcasing some of our favorite moments that the MMJ1 and MMJ2 classes has throughout the year. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Shark Tank. This will be the final episode from MMJ2, but MMJ1 will have a few more episodes until the end of the year. Stay tuned for the future episodes. We're going to leave you with another terrific PSA from the MMJ1 class by Alicia Kong called The Veggie Song, and see you next time. Everybody on a healthy and be strong, but how should I get started? Let's find out in this song. King Yang, tomato, tomato, and I am here to say If you want healthy skin, eat tomatoes every day King Yang, Carla, the cucumber, and I am here to say If you want healthy joints, eat cucumber every day Hey Jimmy, I'm Benny the broccoli, and I am here to say If you don't like allergies, eat broccoli every day Hey, I'm Caroline the Carrot, and I'm here to say If you want healthy eyes, then eat carrots every day Everybody, I just learned a lot today If I want to be healthy, I should eat veggies every day Sweet! Oh.